Oh, if it isn't fucking Mobius. <laughs> Here to buy your latest copy of uh, I'm a Pretentious Wanker Weekly. Something like that. Did the lurker come out this week? <sighs> Yes, I got every single one of your fucking boring comics that no one else reads but you. Can't you just pick up some fucking Stan Lee or something? God, I fucking hate that guy. Almost as much as I hate these variant covers. Ugh, I hate them so fucking much, but these people will buy anything if you put 16 different covers on it, so... This shit's dangerous, man. There's a bubble. It's gonna pop. I'm calling it now. Oh, fuck. This book has multiple covers. That means it must be worth something. I'm gonna buy them all, just in case one of them becomes collectible. This fucking guy. This fucking guy, he's the fucking problem. Does nobody remember the 90s, the speculator boom? People coming from outside of comics and buying shitloads of books they have no intention of reading, but just want to have on the off chance that one of them blows up and is actually worth something someday? I have no idea how destructive this is to comic shops, but I'm gonna buy them all anyway and never read them out of some slavish devotion to the bullshit myth of collectability. This guy is gonna make a killing on eBay. Oh yeah. We gotta get in on that. Definitely. Fuck! What? This is like spawn number one. What? We need to get like 70 of these and just hoard them in our storage facility. It would be genius. No one pays attention to art or entertainment anymore. What people want is something to invest in. Mm -hmm. This can make us rich. Get more. Okay, none of that is true. Just none of it. Absolutely zero percent. It's really sad, because this is the same shit that put Marvel in bankruptcy 20 years ago. And now we're going through the same thing again, because there's no education about how the system works. Comics here in North America are distributed through a company called Diamond. Diamond offers books on a non-returnable basis, which basically means when comic book retailers are forced to order 10 or 15 or 20 or 50 or 200 copies of the standard cover in order to qualify for the variant cover, they just get stuck with those standard covers. Like, nobody wants them. So they're completely fucked. Um, that's not how it works. A lot of variant covers are one-to-one. -one. And also that's just what the industry runs on nowadays. So maybe climb down from your fucking ivory tower once in a while and come back to the real world. Look, either way it places an unfair strain on retailers. They either have to order twice the amount of books they normally would, or they order 50% of one cover and 50% of the other. Either way, they're getting stuck with books that nobody fucking wants. Because who the shit wants a photo cover? Well, what about me? Doing variant cover work is a good way to get your foot in the door with bigger publishers and to build a brand. Plus, I need that money. Yeah, that makes sense to me. And honestly, like, any way you can make money in comics is a good way. And me! I need the money from those variant covers to help pay you artists for your alternative books. <laughs> 25 variant covers, man? That's some predatory bullshit. The business model is just not sustainable by any means. But you're gonna be at another con this weekend. Well, yeah, you know, gotta grind it out. Work harder, not smarter, that's what my mom always says. Well, <laughs> that and don't buy fucking variant covers. Really? Because the only thing I've ever heard your mom say is, oh, Jago, Jago, please fuck me harder. Fuck me harder on this huge stack of one in 500 variant covers, Jago. Next week. Same back time, same back channel. Wanker. Rosie, what do you think about variant covers? I fucking hate variant covers. I like it because I like that artists get paid, but I don't like it because I know from personal experience and friends that variant covers over ordering variant covers can fucking sink a shop. I think it's sad and irresponsible and annoying. 
but some variant covers are nice because <laughs> art is good and artists are good and I'm glad they're getting paid yeah how do you feel about Doctor Strange? I fucking hate Doctor Strange, man. 